Well, hi, and welcome to another LRCC Soundbite. If you've been watching these recently, you'll know that I've been working my way through some of the uh, characters in the oldest part of the Bible, some of the stories that went on then. I'm continuing the story of Moses this week. If you remember last week, I talked about Moses giving Pharaoh in Egypt God's message to let the Israelite people go. In the end, they went, but it wasn't long before Pharaoh regretted letting them go and sent his army after them to bring them back. Now, the Israelite people have got as far as the Red Sea. On the side they're on, which is like mainland Egypt, um, there they are, next to the sea. On the other side, the Sinai Peninsula. Next step on the journey that they would need if they were going to get to Canaan, the area that would eventually become their home. But behind them is Pharaoh's army. There's no time to try and walk north to get around uh, the, the sea and across to the peninsula. The Egyptian army aren't going anywhere and they're chasing them and the sea is in front. What do they do? And so the stage is set for one of the more famous Bible stories, the parting of the Red Sea. The people are stuck. So God creates a path where there wasn't one before. The waters of the sea pile themselves up and become like walls on each side with dry land in the middle. And the people are able to simply walk through on the seabed until they reach the other side. Now, I listened to that story and I think it's, it can be a reminder to us that no matter how hopeless things might seem and however we might look around us and see sea on one side and an army on the other, and see no way out. Actually, if we're going the way that God has asked us to go, then there's a plan behind it. And when we pray and ask him, he will show us what that way is. In this story, it's how God saved his people from their enemy. In our lives today, it can be so many things. It seems all too easy to get ourselves in a position where we feel trapped, whether that's at work, at home, with friends, or, or pretty much anywhere else. It could be money that traps us, or it could be other people's expectations, or even our own expectations of ourselves. Whatever it might be that traps us, God will always be there if we ask for his help. Well, that's okay for you, you might say to me, but God's not going to help me in my situation. Actually, I would suggest God has already done something to reach out to you to let you know that he's there. After all, you're listening to this soundbite. One of the most incredible things you know about churches is that they're full of people with different skills, different abilities, different experiences. And that means that they're great places to find people to help in different difficult situations. I don't think it's an accident that God decided to organise Christians into churches. I think that capability to support each church community and for that church community to help those in their, their wider community outside of their own little group um, and make that available to people whether they're of the same different or, or even no faith to me that sounds like a great plan for people just kind of helping each other it's when we suddenly find that something I think is easy normal or ordinary is verging on the miraculous to somebody else so you know, when we say that LRCC is here and available for everyone on this estate, regardless of faith or no faith, we actually really mean it. Seriously, if you do find yourself wondering where to turn to, get in touch. We can be completely confidential or we can help you signpost you to other people who might be able to do even better than we might be able to. Um, it might be little things. It might be big things. I give you an example. Last week, it was someone's tumble dryer that I was helping out with. The week before, it was a 3D jigsaw puzzle that just needed that final bit of help putting it together. Other times, it's been someone's employer who's closing down and, and the possibility of that person being made redundant. And, and where do they turn and what do they do next? Life is real and life brings us all problems. If we can help even just a little bit, please do let us know. God bless you. I'll see you next week, if not before.